Hello, thank you so much for coming to my channel. My name's Madison. It is so nice to see you. Um, if you're not subscribed already, I like to do mukbangs, cooking videos, food reviews, um, like going to the grocery store. And today I'm very excited because I have duck donuts. If you don't know what duck donuts is, honestly, good for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's these really delicious, like customizable um donuts and they make them fresh to order um no matter if you customize or if you pick one of their like pre um like designated flavors so let me open it because i did open it so i could take a picture and they're gorgeous look at these guys look at them right gotta get a thumbnail cool so <clears throat> i wish i could like hold it up at the same time but that's just not gonna happen today um i have the receipt so i'm gonna try to say them as i go i came up with every single one of these flavors um and i'm really excited to see what we got going on um i'm gonna put my hair up because it's just gonna be too much and i'm actually in a really busy parking lot so these people are seeing this live action okay cool and um I believe that these are a, a fried cake donut, if you're interested in that. Um, it doesn't take away any of their delightfulness, though. Oh, there is some shit going on over there. Mm -mm. I'm also going to have to roll the window down because I need some fucking air. I'm a human being. Ah. Okay. Hopefully, I'm still, like, well into the frame. Um, my steering wheel is a little crooked right now. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got going on here. Um... A glaze with love sprinkles and raspberry drizzle is right here. I wonder if they have them in any order. So this is glazed with raspberry drizzle and their love sprinkles. I haven't had their regular glaze before, so I figured I'd try it. I think they are in order this way, which the next one is a little tiny baby. Um, this one is strawberry with strawberry drizzle and the love sprinkles. Berry flavors are always really good, like fruity. So now I'm at like an impasse. Do I want to just go in order or do I want to do the fruity flavors and then like go into chocolate and stuff, you know? I think I will because I kind of know what most of these are. There's like fuzz from my freaking jacket. So the next one I'm going to go into is after the peanut butter. So this one is blueberry with streusel and blueberry drizzle. This is not real. <laughs> that one tastes like a blueberry muffin. But like kind of a crispy texture because it, the donut is soft, but it, it really is like forgiving. So it has that nice crisp on the outside. It's so great. Um, this one is kind of a random one that I made up. Um, it's a cinnamon sugar with strawberry drizzle. I just thought it sounded fun. I'm not a huge cinnamon sugar person, but I wanted to give theirs a shot, you know? It's really good. Okay. I think this one's strawberry with lemon drizzle and then the love sprinkles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what about lemon with strawberry or raspberry? And I honestly did the love sprinkles for fun. 
because Valentine's Day is coming. I just thought it'd be really fun. And then I did another blueberry one. Let me see. Mm. So this one is like almost the same, except for I got raspberry drizzle on it. And I mainly did that because um, I know Brandon's going to want some. So just in case it was irresistible, I got him one and me one. I've never had streusel on a donut, but it's really good. Okay. I also got a powdered sugar one. Excuse me. And I got um, powdered sugar with strawberry drizzle. Of course, it's delicious. All right. So I just took a little break for a second. Also, if I have stuff in my teeth, I have braces. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I think the next one that I should go ahead and try is the maple bacon because I feel like that's a good way to like... I feel like it's a good segue. So here's the maple bacon. I love their maple bacon because the bacon is in pieces. Mm. Mm. That's a really good middle donut to have because it's a little bit more savory. I love their maple bacon because it's not too sweet. Maple bacon donuts that are too sweet Example, Gordo's in Austin, a little bit too sweet. This one's really good. Um, the next one that I'm going to do is peanut butter with hot fudge drizzle, I believe. Let me make sure. Yep. Peanut butter with hot fudge drizzle. <laughs> I believe this is one of their classic ones. I just added it to my customized one. Their peanut butter frosting as well is not too sweet. Or icing, excuse me. It's very yummy. I also wanted to try their marshmallow. So I got a peanut butter with marshmallow drizzle. Mmm. I used to eat um, little like tortillas folded up with peanut butter, Nutella, and marshmallow, and that reminds me of that. Really freaking good. This truck just drove by, and I think I had tequila on it, but the guy on the side looked like Bruno Mars. Does Bruno Mars sell tequila? Anyway, so the last two are the freaking Oreo ones. So one of them, is there a car alarm? I can actually like see crumble cookies and duck donuts at the same time. Um, so the first one is the, um, sorry, it's a glazed with Oreo crumbles and then a chocolate drizzle. I think it's the hot fudge drizzle. I don't like their chocolate. Their chocolate uh, icing is horrendous. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is it about Oreos, man? There's barely any Oreo in there, and it's, like, so good. Okay. And then this one, I believe, is a flavor they already have. I just, I think this is their cookies and cream one. This is the glazed with Oreos and vanilla drizzle instead. I just wanted to see the difference. Mm. 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 <laughs> Sir. Anyway. Wow, these are really yummy. Like... And honestly, I don't think their assortment is a bad deal. So for all 12 of these, it's $22.50. Completely customized, served warm. 
made fresh the the customer service in there is pretty good they're really nice it's always really young people in there um so i'm gonna go ahead and rate these even though some of them are like you know kind of the same thing they're different enough where i can rate them um so i'm gonna say my number one in this box today is gonna have to be the blueberry with the streusel and the blueberry drizzle that shit is fucking good like really fucking good um i'm 100 gonna eat that donut um the next one if i'm kind of separating like blueberry for a second um is gonna be the oreo with the vanilla drizzle i think that one is really delicious um the strawberry with the lemon was really good but was it better than the strawberry by itself <clears throat> excuse me um okay blueberry streusel oreo with vanilla maple bacon strawberry with strawberry um strawberry with lemon let me see what else i have uh the other blueberry the other oreo the peanut butter with the marshmallow was really freaking good it was better than the other one and then i'm gonna put the glazed with the raspberry right after that um because it was it's kind of plain um and then peanut butter with the chocolate because it's a little bit dry only thing about their peanut butter icing is a little bit of a dry kind of flavor um and then let me see i would say Okay, which one would I pick up first, right? If there was a cinnamon sugar and a powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. So I'd pick up the powdered sugar, which I thought I got raspberry on that. Nope, my dumbass put strawberry. Love that for me. I thought I put raspberry on it. I wanted raspberry on that one because raspberry is um, a little bit more zingy and raspberry is really good with powdered sugar. Like Dunkin' Donuts powdered sugar donut with raspberry. It's really good. I don't even fuck with Dunkin' Donuts. Anyway, um, yeah, so I picked the powdered sugar and then the cinnamon sugar last. That goes to say, the cinnamon sugar is not bad. I am just not usually a cinnamon sugar kind of person. As a whole, Duck Donuts for me is a solid nine because the value is there. And like you pretty much know what you're going to get. You're going to get some warm donuts that just got cooked in a specification that you created or the one that they created, right? So that's what I really like about them. It comes in a nice box that's really easy to open, um, a little bit hard to close, not gonna lie. Um, and it's it's cute, right? It's got a freaking duck on it. How could you hate it? Um, I like that they itemize everything and give it to you on a receipt. That is very cool. So yeah, so that's why I would rate them a nine as a whole because their donuts are not so amazing where it's a 10 because it's not like, you know, what is that like uh honore in uh vegas right so you know she like really comes up with all that shit <laughs> so this is a chain <laughs> excuse me anyways this was super fun cannot wait for brandon to come home so he can have some he's just at work so that's why he's not with me um and these donuts are amazing whether they are fresh out of the fryer warm like they were today or um, room temperature like the, but we'll have them later. You can always heat them up for a second. Um, since these are cake donuts, if you wanna heat them up, the best thing to do is um, like put them on a plate so that they don't stick to a napkin, but you can put it on a napkin if you want. Um, <laughs> and um, heat them in like four second increments. I know that sounds absolutely just like dialing in, but it's really worth it so you don't overheat your donut and then you burn your mouth or you can't eat it or you burn the ingredients so yeah 30 seconds way too long 10 seconds too long okay <laughs> hopefully i don't have too much stuff in my teeth um i really appreciate you being here today if you haven't already please subscribe like the video if you haven't done that too it really really helps me out and it's a very simple thing for you to get done um i would really appreciate it and um yeah thanks so much again i will see you in the next video i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are bye